Well, as we all know by now, the solar eclipse is on Monday and we're going to get a great view of it here in New England. It's something to absolutely be excited for. Of course, uh, you can't look directly at the sun and that's why I have Eric here. He's an educator at the Museum of Science and he's going to tell us about how you can still experience the eclipse without having glasses. Yeah, so those glasses are super important because mm -hmm. looking at the sun, even where we get here in Boston, 7% of the sun is going to be peeking out behind the moon. It's too much. It's still enough to damage your eyes, even though you won't get the pain response from the full sun. So that's why we're constantly saying don't look at that sun even at the peak. Um, but if you don't get the eclipse glasses, if they're all sold out everywhere, then you can just make an eclipse viewer that lets you look at the sun and watch that progress over the course of the afternoon. Uh, it takes about a minute and a half to do, and you can probably do it with stuff you have in the house. And this is a, would be a great activity. We were talking about the weather on Saturday being kind of kind of crummy. So if you got kids at home, something like that, this. I mean, like you said, only a few minutes and household items, right? Yeah, you can take a cereal box or really any box um, and then just pretty much make it and then you can spend the rest of the time decorating it and then you have it for the next couple of eclipses coming up and we have a couple partial eclipses we can see from here over the next 10 years. And tell me how it works. So I, I see we got our we got our cereal boxes here. There's some tin foil. Um, how would I even use this, the finished product? So the finished product, basically, the light comes in one tiny pinhole. So you take a thumbtack over the foil once we've made it. You stick it through, the light comes through there, and then you look through the other side at whatever you want to see. So for the studio lights up in the ceiling, I can see there's three different lights. So when I look in here, I can see the three little dots. And so you're certainly, let me see this here. Oh yeah, wow, yeah, it literally looks like, okay, just, wow. So whatever the light is coming from, if it's a circular sun, so if you yeah. don't test it Saturday, Sunday, yeah. you'll <laughs> see the circle. On Monday, when that moon is blocking it, you'll see a, a chunk taken out of it, and you'll see that sliver sun, so it's, it shows you the shape of whatever the light is. Yeah, so it's projecting, so if we have the eclipse, you can see the crescent basically right here in the box, and actually that was so cool, we have our lights up here, there, there are three lights within the, I don't know, light. Yeah, the, <laughs> the ceiling light, I, yeah. You don't even really notice, and then you look in here, and then it's like, oh wow, you can actually see each individual light. So. So if you don't have glasses or you're not sure if the glasses you got are real, I know there's a lot of scams out there, so be aware of that, but um, you always have this handy to go. And, and like you said, at any point during the eclipse, you can just look in the box, you can track it, right? And, yeah. and for any kid, any age, I mean, this seems like a pretty simple activity. Yeah, all you have to do is kind of like cut the flaps off, leave two holes on either side, cover one side in tin foil, poke a hole through it, and that's it. Perfect, so tin foil, uh, just need a tack and, and your cardboard Hopefully a good cereal box, right? Yeah. That's it. Good uh, good Saturday rainy activity, and uh, hopefully you guys have something to do in case we have the rain. I want to thank you for being here. And um, again, great activity at home, something that you can do for the kids, and also enjoy the eclipse on Monday.